What's up everyone, welcome to your 21st C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a simple switch statement. Now what a switch statement is, is pretty much um, just like an if, else, if, else statement but it's a lot e easier to organize and a lot easier to work with and read. So let's go ahead and create a basic program that I can show you guys how to use a switch statement. The first thing I want to do is declare an integer variable, typing int x. The next thing I want to do is ask the user a question. So I'm going to ask, how many legs do you have? And then line. And after that, I'm going to have the user input some data on the screen. And whatever they input, it's going to be stored in the variable x. You should learn all this from last time, so I'm not going to go over it again. Next, let's get to the fun stuff, the new stuff, the switch statement. The syntax for your switch statement is switch. And in the test condition, you're going to say what variable you want to test. We want to test the variable x. Now, after we tell C++ what variable we want to test, we got to give it a bunch of different options or cases. The first thing we need to do is make our first case. So the syntax for that is case. Now you give it an option. In the case that they enter one, enter a colon, we want you to execute this bit of code. C out, um, let's say if they enter one, you are a pirate. Because I can't think of any other thing with one leg right now. So, and then end that line. And then after you're done outputting your code on the screen, you want to add a something called a break statement. Now what a break statement is going to let you do, and you're going to see this later on, if you find what your case is in the very first time, then there's no reason to go through the rest of the options, especially if you have like a hundred different options. So what a break statement says is alright, we found our answer, we don't need to go through the rest of the options because they're obviously not true. So just end the code right now and go on to the rest of your program. So again, what C++ is doing right now is this. It's going to say, all right, we want to look for x. In the case that it's equal to 1, execute this code. And now, in the case that it's equal to, do, to 2, excuse me, we want you to output on the screen, um, you are human. End line, and this is a way where you can give C++ a bunch of different options, and it's pretty much a lot easier than using if, else, if, uh, else. Uh, let me move this up so you can see. And so what C++ again, just to reiterate, it pretty much goes through all of these options until it finds one that's that matches X, and once it does, it executes the code right below it. So again, if you're asking, all right, what if it runs through all the options and it still didn't find what it was looking for? That's when you need to do something that's equivalent to the else statement. It's kind of like your last resort. It's called a default. And what a default is, is when none of these match, this is the code it runs. So if it's default and you didn't enter one or two, you entered some huge number, it's going to say, I don't know what you are. And then, um, we want you to end that line. So, let me show you guys how this program works. And, again, you don't need a break at the end of your default statement, since it's already at the end, so it already knows that you're going to be done executing the code. So, let's go ahead, compile, and run this program. And, hopefully, I don't have any errors. And, I don't. How many legs do you have? Um, let's say one. You are a pirate. Press any key to exit. Execute, compile, and run. And let me show you guys what the default statement looks like. When it asks, how many legs do you have? I'm going to enter 14. And it says, I don't know what you are. Press any key to exit. So again, the basics of a switch statement, you're going to say what variable do you want to evaluate in your test condition and after your case you're going to give all the options of that variable such as the option one or two and then after your options you're going to give it what code you want to execute and don't forget the break 
And again, if it runs through all of these options and it still didn't find what it was looking for, it's going to go the, to the default statement. So if you uh, learn your if, else if, else statement last time, you can see that this is a ton easier way to store information and uh, to sort through data and choices. So study this, practice making a simple switch statement. I'm going to be posting all this code on my website, thenewboston.com. So if you want the source code, go there and just snatch it from me. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next, next tutorial.